It's that time of year again. We have tomato hornworm damage. And I just saw him. I was just about to pluck him off for the chickens. Where did it go? Oops, right there, right below my hand. That's how, that's how easily they blend in. So there's one there and there's one right there. And I already removed one that Odin made me save, but we'll get these off the plant. They're almost to pupation anyway, so it's not like they're gonna do much more damage before they turn into a beneficial moth. So we sometimes save these creatures and let them have a chance. But if we find a bunch of small ones, we feed them to the chickens. Odin, what did you find? Did you find a red? I found some orange you're gonna eat them you're gonna eat them right now huh you're not gonna wait yeah. our first ripe tomatoes sort of how is it good oh is it sour or sweet so it's sweet even though it was slightly underripe and that's because these are spoon tomatoes and they're a cart style and they're supposed to be super sweet the sweet super sweet good you give them a thumbs up yeah is good for it is fat wood. It's fat wood? Yeah. Food's good. How do you know it's fat wood? Because of, of its age. It's... And w what are the identifying characteristics of that fat wood? Um, of cheese. You mentioned a color? Yeah. What What's the color you're looking for? This. Golden. You said golden? Yeah. And what does it smell? Like yeah, it's got like a nice minty, bright scent, doesn't it? Yeah. And so, what's fat wood good for? Um, torches. Torches. Very good. You're a smart boy. Yeah. So we're doing a little bit of chaos gardening this morning. I had Ryan disc this up again because my friend Savannah had some seeds that got soaked in a freezer that melted. So all of her seeds were soaked and she quickly tried to distribute them to different people that could just go ahead and plant them this weekend. So that's what I'm trying. It's questionable whether these seeds will make it because they were soaked for so long. Well, we don't know how long and um they are smelling a little a little funky but hopefully they'll be saved by being put in the ground uh this garden was one that we had done the last couple of years down here but this year we had decided not to because the earth down here is just unforgiving it's very hard very hard to work with and so we were hoping to expand our vegetable garden up top. We've been working on that, but it's going very slowly. Moving mulch is very hard when you're only using a shovel and a wheelbarrow. So, uh, yeah, wish I had a bucket on the tractor, but this tractor is a mini little old fashioned tractor and it just doesn't have buckets. We dissed it again. And I am trying my best to get some rows put in. And this earth is so hard and dry. It's not fun. And this is what we have to plant. We've got some winter squash, some okra, some summer squash, some more corn. Um, I already put some corn in. So we're just going to try to get it all in the ground and see if it can survive. I figured it's worth a shot to give the seeds a chance rather than just throwing them away as waste. Let's throw them into the ground and see what they do. I'm not putting a lot of effort into this. I'm not putting a lot of time into this. It is hard though, because I do have to kind of make a row for them. And that's quite difficult in this very dry, hard soil. So I am going to try to not exhaust myself and not get dehydrated or overheated because this is the time of year that those things happen and I'm being very careful drinking lots of water. So make sure you are drinking your water too. I mean it. Did you drink your water? Go take a drink. <laughs> 
right now. Go. Get your water bottle and take a big drink. Good. Good. Thank you. It's like survival of the fittest out here. Only the strong will survive. I'm strong enough, right? I'll survive. And hopefully a lot of these seeds will too. That was hard. I'm not going to lie. Well, I'm not going to lie. That was too hot and too hard. I did a little bit more than I should have. And I felt like I was near heat stroke. So I went inside for the rest of the afternoon. Um, and then I just came out so I could check on everything out here. Earlier today, we got our pole beans in. A new garden bed. Pole beans. This one's planted with okra. So we're getting things done. I also seeded some pots that I'm just going to plant in the front yard and backyard orchard. These have um, winter squash, pumpkins, and watermelon. So I went ahead and seeded them into cups so I could make sure that they germinate okay with lots of water as I'm able to water them in this because I'm out here watering all of this every morning and at and every afternoon anyway so it'll be a little more controlled situation little boy what are you doing with that water hose <laughs> but i also planted my herb spiral and just trying to get some stuff done oh my goodness i just saw this calendula in there blooming that's so cool these cages here, I call these pepper cages, not tomato cages, because these are the thinner metal, and they're quite flimsy. But we're doing an experiment I keep seeing online, is that growing your squash up, even though it's summer squash and zucchini I planted, um, growing up into this trellis is supposed to help keep less pests. So I'm going to give it a try. It seems like it's been working out for some of the people so I want to see if it works for us. So we have lemon squash in these six and black zucchini in those four. We're just throwing stuff in wherever we can to get a last minute late garden planted because we still have a long growing season here in Georgia and there's so much more that I wanted to plant early in the season and I just didn't get to it. So it is what it is. I am getting to it now last minute last minute but last minute is still better than not at all my life is chaos anyway might as well chaos garden then I cleared the lettuce and kale and fed it to the chickens and the goats and the pigs and I'm gonna interplant in here I'm just gonna leave the anise hyssop just because um, I'm just gonna do my dragon tongue bush beans in this bed and they won't care if there's anise hyssop in there so I need to get those seeds put in. And then I don't know, I don't, I have over 30 leftover tomato plants that I don't know where to put. I don't have, I don't have space for them anywhere. And I've already offered them to everybody I know. I'm tempted to just like, throw them down there at Miss Elsie's and see what they do but but the last time I did that this time of year we got very few tomatoes so probably shouldn't oh I almost forgot I did the ginger and turmeric here and added a few bell peppers that we picked up because we didn't have any so this will be pretty cool. I hope the ginger and turmeric do okay. They were just purchased from the grocery store and they didn't look great, but they didn't look horrible either. But we'll see. It's worth a try. I feel like that's the theme of the day. Might as well try. Might as well throw it in the ground. See what happens. Hey. Chaos Garden. Oh. All right, you got your scoop? Yeah. All right, everything from the bucket back is fair game. Oh, you hit me with it. 
You can walk out there and do more out there. And to me, that's all right. Got some black oil sunflower seeds that are getting chaos gardened with my boys. Woohoo! All right, boys, come on. <laughs> Our chaos gardening is done for the day, I do believe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, why are you picking up rotten apples? Because I want them to. Because I want them to. I want them to the chickens. Oh, that's a good idea. They like them.